Hi, everyone. I am back. My name is Michelle Van Curve, autistic self advocate. I run my own blog website, The World of Autism. I have two people with me today, Katie and Stephanie. I wanted to introduce them both. How are you both doing today? Good. We're doing well. Good. So I thought I would let you guys lead this one. I want you guys to introduce yourselves because I think it'd be really awesome for the community to get to know both of you. Awesome. Well, thanks. I'll start. I'll <laughs> I'll start this conversation. Um, I'm Stephanie. I am vice president and director of development for a company called Divergent Adventures. And we'll go into what Divergent Adventures is and what we do. I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. I am a um, behavior behavior analyst, and I have like over 25 years of working in the autism field. Um, what well, I'm a certified autism travel professional, uh, peers certified, and also a parent of, oh my God, <laughs> a 30 plus year old on the spectrum. So I've been in this field for a while. And Katie? I'm Katie. I do uh, social media and marketing for Divergent Adventures, and my older brother is also on the spectrum. So I've been around it, and we're just excited to offer new opportunities for the, the community. That is so cool. I um just a little bit more of a fun fact for myself, besides that I Besides working full time with the school district as a behavior specialist, I also have been working in the ABA field on the side as a registered behavior technician. And I'm in the process of going towards with becoming a behavior analyst assistant because I graduated last year with my bachelor's degree from Purdue University Global with my um it's my bachelor's in psychology. It's concentrated in ABA. So it's been amazing so far, like really like doing, providing ABA therapy on the side as well. And I love it. And a, a little bit more personal of me is that I did receive services when I was younger. I had um, early intervention services that included with ABA therapy. So my own experiences was positive and it really helped me get to where I'm at today. So that's, I that's great. That. <laughs> I, I love, I love that you're sharing that because I'm sure, as you know, like ABA has kind of mixed, uh, mixed reviews out there in the world. And sometimes it's hard to say personally that I'm a behavior analyst, just given some of the history and, it not being so favorable for uh, some adults now who are on the spectrum that say, oh my gosh, ABA, go away. So that's good. I'm happy to hear that. And and congratulations on your RBT and good luck on your BCA, BA, right? Yes. That, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank it's, you it's so fun. much. <laughs> We're we're definitely in demand out there. There's a lot more uh, kids who who need our help than there are those of us who can help. Yeah, absolutely. Especially I know here in Florida, that's become <laughs> that's definitely become that where there's definitely a need for sure. I've seen it even throughout the school district, how much that there are students out there that really could use that service. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So I moved, um, I'm still a practicing behavior analyst, but a couple of years ago, I was asked by a friend of mine who is has over 30 years of experience in adventure travel to help him with a company that he had started. Uh, we were formerly known as Raise the Roof for Autism. And what Raise the Roof for Autism does, now that we're Divergent Adventures, is adventure travel for autistic individuals. And he specialized, along with another partner of his, in um, college-age students and taking them all over the world. So they've been to Japan, and uh, they climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and Grand Canyon is really 
our area of expertise where there's been multiple groups that uh, we've led in the Grand Canyon. And how uh, now that we're divergent adventures, how that works is that we have we have sort of two sides to what our adventures. And the first part is a what we call a pre-trip planning preparation uh, mm-hmm. course, for lack of a better term. Yeah. And all of the participants will meet for uh, 10 weeks. It's it's virtual for like an hour, one time a week, where we come together as a group so that all the travelers can get to know each other. And then we have um, a series of pre-trip planning exercises. We teach participants how to use the um, go through the itinerary, what we're going to do as a group on our group travel. Uh, we also have a lot, uh, there's physical training components because we get out and we move when we're on our adventures. We okay. uh, said we go to the Grand Canyon. So mm-hmm. we actually go down into the Grand Canyon. We take hikes down in there. And so all of our participants engage in some physical training activities before they come together with our adventure. And our adventure piece of it is uh, is in a group and we take divergent adventures takes care of everything we we find all of the uh, hotel rooms transportation is included meals are included so all of the sort of scary components of traveling when you're doing it on your own is Mm -hmm. all eliminated through divergent adventures because we're there to make sure that everybody gets out and sees the world and does it safely and doesn't have to worry about any of those elements of travel coordination. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's amazing. You don't really hear too much of like, of even just with like of companies that like do something like this where like, especially where, where everything's like being paid for and stuff. Now, I wonder with this, is that, like, how much, like, you meet with, like, individual needs of of travelers? So we do, uh, with participants who come on our journeys, on our adventures, go through a pre-adventure screening to make sure that they meet criteria that uh, we can address what their needs are. And, you know, we want to meet everybody where they're at. So that's part of the reason once they once they meet the entrance criteria and we determine, okay, you're a good candidate to come and travel with us and they're excited then and, and they can meet all of the criteria that we set forth, then um, we know more specifically how to address individual needs that might arise on these adventures. Because I do know that that can be challenging, um, sensory overload, just mm-hmm. wanting to fit in with the group sometimes not willing to get out of the hotel room and go do what we're doing, but we have addressed all the, these issues pretty much before we get out. And that's the reason why we do our pre-trip training and preparation so that we can meet everybody and where they're at and figure all that stuff out. Oh, interesting. Now, um, now I'm wondering with this, like in terms of like staffing that you have, that's a good question. Yeah. That's, that sounds like an RVT question. Good job. That's uh, I had to say that just because I'm like, you know, just out of curiosity, a lot of families might want to know that. Right, right. Um, so good. I, I'm glad that you asked that. So we limit our groups to 12 that uh, 12 participants. Mm-hmm. And typically when we're out on the trail, we always have they're, they're called Woofer, but it stands for Wilderness First Response Guides. So they're actually guides that are leading our hikes. Mm-hmm. And we do that for safety purposes. We Safety is the most important element of our trips. And then there's also a Divergent Adventures educator. So myself, there's another uh girl that works with us who um, is a master's level clinician, uh, special educator. So it's, it's, it tends to be six people and then one, and and then like a a guide and an educator. So the ratio is about two, two adults to six participants. And then when we're out, just 
uh, in like in the restaurants and doing all the other activities that we do that aren't the guides. It's usually our two educators and then our, our 12 participants. But we like to keep our group small because we really want to make sure that everybody's getting the experience, that individualized experience, but they're also able to come together as a group and create some good friendships and social connections. Oh, I can agree more about that. I definitely... <laughs> <laughs> from my experiences with even just the school district alone that how such um difference it is with a large like I think about in the classrooms how there's such large size nowadays like you have 30 plus students versus like when you have something like this that's the small group I feel like it's more personal also because like yeah you're meeting you're creating like meaningful connections and stuff there's like you, you can really engage a lot more especially on like targeting on like social skills so i just it is great and um so so the process and everything so you have 12 participants and then you start that whole process again of like right. 12. right uh, so you what how this typically works is um, on our website, divergentventures.com, <laughs> put the plug in there. Um, there's you'll you can see we have various trips coming up in 2024. So we have some um, excursions to the Grand Canyon. We're targeting Japan. We have one coming into Tasmania. So whatever the individual or traveler was interested in is where they would go and they would sign up for that particular trip. And that's how the sort of the intake process starts. And uh, that would be a phone conversation with me. Again, that's going through that initial screening criteria. And then once, um, you know, we were able to determine it's a good fit, uh, that the participant is can uh, make their deposit. And then we just start, we put them in the 10 week class prior to the trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see that for sure, like making sure that like the participants like really understand like the whole thing getting and having the skills like prior to going on the trip. So that completely makes sense. <laughs> you know, like just making sure that everything's all good and like it's important to teach the skills like even like prior to going on the actual trip as well so that that is amazing i'm glad that that's been happening and stuff um in terms of what for participants like how old do they do you take so for we have two uh sort of two branches of divergent adventures mm -hmm. and one is really geared towards college age students autistic individuals uh, over the age of 18 who are either enrolled in a university or maybe now that they've graduated like yourself and they just yeah. want to get out and travel. And so that is one, one side. And then we also do family travel. And so for our family travel, it, it's a little different in that um, we still like to limit our groups and not have them be really large. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a total of 12 to 14 participants, which includes, um, you know, typically maybe two family members and child or uh, whatever that looks like. But that's when the parents will travel with the child. And we like to we can do both when we can either we set up custom itineraries and I actually work with the families in helping them figure out uh, sensory friendly places to go and um, incorporate some ABA elements into helping them out on their journey and um, <clears throat> working with their kids. Or if they're doing one of our group trips, then they participate, the families participate in a four week uh, pre-planning trip uh, virtual on Zoom. And that's where I, I also go through some ABA principles and just sort of work with the parents on how to navigate traveling as a group and, um, and what to do with, you know, with some, basically with some issues that they might have when they're out there. Oh, okay. That's, that's awesome. I didn't even, yeah, I know you were talking a lot about like with the individual ones. I didn't even know that there was the family part too. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of hoping that what what we really are um, aiming to do at Divergent Adventures is just get people out. Like I've talked yeah. a lot about, you know, what we <laughs> like the the planning and the pre the pre trip and all that, but I haven't talked about the fun. And it's oh yeah, it's definitely really a lot of fun. <laughs> um, maybe Katie can speak a little bit about that because uh, yeah. she's been out there. But um, you know, I think that sort of gets lost in the in the wayside. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. uh, we do, um, we do incorporate like some of the, the skills that we're trying to teach are, um, a group, group dynamics and problem solving and, um, social communication. So we, we use geocaching. Are you familiar with geocaching? I have not heard of that. <laughs> so it's, um, it's, it's like puzzle solving out in the where actually wherever geocaching has um so you you it, there's a program on your phone and you basically say you're going to this coordinate you're going to this place and there's a series of clues that you have to solve in order to find the prize and so we incorporate that with our trips because it just has made uh, it just makes it a lot of fun not everybody gets super excited about hiking or um just you know being outdoors and so this added an element of what we're doing and also helps to uh, do some problem solving and some uh, teamwork and communication so again while we're having fun we're also learning certain skills so we do that both with individuals that travel with us and um, families oh that's awesome look at all that naturalistic going on <laughs> yeah, see? yeah I, it's good yes yes a lot of naturalistic teaching and a lot of what we're hoping is that um, our participants, whether it be families or individuals, that whatever they're learning out there on their adventure are skills that they can use when they're back home in everyday life. Because as you know, generalization is super important. So absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Katie, I would love to hear from you about like your experiences that have been on the travels and everything. I went on the Grand Canyon tour back in April and it was super fun. We did Sedona and Grand Canyon, Flagstaff. It was, uh, the hike down in the Grand Canyon was so beautiful. It was just, it was so well planned out. And then just observing what they do on the trips was fascinating to me because, you know, the basic skills of what we know and then watching like Stephanie and Danielle teach it was really cool and listening to uh the guides the guides are so informative versus I hike a lot I'm in Colorado and I just do it and then this was like learning so much more about the canyon and just Arizona in general it was really pretty hmm. I bet I've actually have never been there myself although I have I have traveled like personally I've only traveled to the only the states like within this country I actually have never been outside myself yet <laughs> So I'm going to definitely have to plan that someday. <laughs> well, we're going to have to change that for you, Michelle. I know. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there, you know, there's, there's a little known fact that only 1% of the population that visit the Grand Canyon actually go down in the Grand Canyon. So um, we're always talking about when people travel with Divergent Adventures and they do our Grand Canyon trip, they become part of the 1% club. Cause we hike down in there and you can see it from a completely different advantage and it's not, you know, it's doable for everybody. Like we have taken people who have never hiked before. And so again, with our, our, our assistance in the pre-trip planning and, you know, here, we'll show you how to do it. And we go at their pace and, you know, and I've just, we've gotten wonderful feedback. It's like, a, I've never thought I'd be in the Grand Canyon and look at me, you know, so it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is. <laughs> That's awesome. I I definitely um I'm gonna make sure to share all this, especially on my blog website. What I do for everybody that I even talk to on here is that I do a mini blog story attached with this. So I'm gonna be able to what I can do, I can attach the website with Perfect. this. So that way everybody can check that out and stuff. So definitely check this out. I'm <laughs> telling people now, like, 
this is definitely an amazing opportunity that's provided by with you guys. Thank you so much about that. I think that this is very informative and we'll definitely get a lot of people going with this. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Get a group together. Come, come with us. You know, we just, like I said, we just want to create this community of neurodiverse travelers that want to get out and explore the world and, and can do it, um, you know, with like-minded people and feel safe and comfortable. Yeah. I will definitely have to pass this on for sure. Definitely. And Great. yes, absolutely. And for people that want to continue to follow great content like this, you can follow me as Exceptional Shell at Self Advocate MV on all social media platforms. And don't forget to follow my blog website, The World of Autism. <laughs> thank you for Katie and Stephanie. Thank you both for being able to join on and being able to talk about Divergent Adventures. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Yeah.